Welcome back. All right, so just the one game tonight in the National Hockey League, Colorado and St. Louis. And there's something to talk about out of this, isn't there? So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, it was Kemper versus Bennington in this game. Uh, O'Connor was in the lineup for Colorado. Sturm was out, so small change there, or at least it seems small on the surface. It would have a difference, uh, or would make a difference to the game. So Perron blasts one from in close. That one goes wide. Uh, Rosen has a screenshot that's held, and I thought St. Louis came out of the gate very well in this one. Uh, Gerard gets hurt on a big hit from Barbashev. Uh, no penalty on the play. Uh, you you might have been able to argue a two minute there. Um, it was really, really a massive, really a case of a massive hit by Barbashev as Gerard's in an awkward stance near the boards. Uh, Gerard, uh, at last, at last word, is in the hospital. Um, Elliot Friedman saying that he's he's not uh, encouraged by the reports he's hearing out of that. So it is very likely that he was concussed on the play, I would think. And uh, we'll probably hear more about that from here going forward. But from the sounds of it, his playoffs could end up being over at this point. So that would be a big blow for Colorado if, in fact, that were the case. Um, yeah, his head hit the glass. He's bloodied on the play. Uh, the next stoppage, we see some pushing and shoving going on. Obviously, that'll ramp emotions up a little bit. Uh, Burakovsky has a shot that's kicked aside. McCarr blasts one high, and then St. Louis opens the scoring. It's Pareko. Scoring from O'Reilly uh, at 355, and it was scored on a face-off win. So a face-off win for O'Reilly, and he had a lot of those tonight. I think he won about 70% of his face-offs tonight. Uh, and that was only the third shot. So it looked like maybe St. Louis, you know, off to a good start now with the lead. Maybe they've got this. Uh, and, and the Avs just had one to that point. Blues then look for another. The crowd's really into this, getting really, really loud. The Avs press at five minutes. The Blues shot blocking. McCarr fires one wide on a rush. Uh, Taves has a shot that's tipped. Bennington holds. Uh, Tarasenko's then denied and close. Lekkonen has a rush chance that's saved. And then Kadri collides with Bennington. Now, uh, Kadri goes into Bennington with Rosen. Rosen kind of ties him up. Um, my look at the play is you might have been able to argue a two-minute goalie interference for the fact that Kadri doesn't try to stay out of the way. Although you can also make the argument that Rosen kind of helps out. Now, Kadri said he was pushed in. No. But, I mean, I, what else is he going to say? Well, yeah, I crashed into their goalie. No, but again, you could have argued maybe a two-minute penalty there. There isn't any. The The thrust of this is Bennington was hurt. Uh, the, the trainer comes out on the ice to check him out, and you could see his knee kind of buckled underneath him. And there was no way. And you could see he wanted to stay in. And, and the trainer looked to the referee and just said no. So they pull him out. Huso goes in. I, I feel bad for Huso. I mean, he hasn't played in a while. Uh, so this has to be a tough situation where, hey, you're just being thrown in the net. And uh, saw it as a rush chance that saved after that. The Blues press and they draw power plays. So this is how you want to run this if you're St. Louis. Don't let them get chances on the goalie. And, you know, keep the puck in the other end and let your goalie get, get comfortable after replacing the starter. Uh, there's a shorthanded McCarr blast that goes wide. Pretty aggressive penalty kill by Colorado here. Uh, Shen couldn't bury one. O'Reilly has a chance that's cleared. And then Manson comes out of the penalty box. He had taken that penalty earlier. Uh, and he joins a rush. And so O'Connor scores from Manson and Helm at 10.57. And this is the first shot that Huso faces. So not, not an optimal opportunity. Uh, if you're St. Louis, uh, and again, who's so trying to get comfortable, and that one goes in. Uh, Landeskog then had a rush chance that was defended. The refs told he sucks. I'm guessing because Bennington gets hurt, there's no call in the play, and then the first goal goes in past Huso on his first shot. Uh, Eric Johnson fires wide as the abs press. Byram has a shot that's saved and held. Perron then had a sharp angle shot that was saved as well. Uh, Kadri has a shot block, and he recovers the puck. After this, Kadri's booed every time he touched the puck. The thing is, I think Kadri already gets booed by St. Louis fans no matter what. Uh, there's some history there. So we're going to the second period with the game tied at one. Uh, Gerard, and this is where they mentioned Gerard was taken to the hospital for observation. And again, at the end of the game, uh, Friedman's update was it doesn't look good. And again, that tells me he's probably out for the playoffs. It's likely a concussion. So, Kadri has a rush chance that deflects out. A quiet, I thought quiet first couple of minutes. Both teams kind of feeling each other out. Near miss by Nachushkin is the abs press. And I'll say this too, I, I kind of agree with, I think it was Louis DeBrusque that pointed out that after these injuries, after Gerard gets hurt and Benincontent gets hurt, 
it kind of dialed everything back a little bit. It was like the teams didn't want anybody else to get hurt or something along those lines, just being a little more careful with things. Either way, it, it definitely took a little bit of something off the game from there. So Shen blasts uh, Lekkonen into the boards. The, the crowd loved that. Good hit on Lekkonen there. Kairos denied from the slot. The Avs top line being neutralized pretty well to this point in the game. And I thought through most of the game, uh, O'Reilly was doing his best, O'Reilly and his line mates, to shut down the McKinnon line. That's their job, and they're doing it quite well in this series. So uh, the Blues press, they're kept to the outside. Obey Kubel then had a sharp angle shot that was held. Huso holds as the Avs press, and he seemed to have settled in at this point. I thought Huso was playing well at this stage of the game. Uh, then there's a press by the Blues, which draws a power play at the half. Piranha is a net feed. That won't go. O'Reilly ends up hitting a post. It was a crossbar. Uh, and the Avs clear it out. The Blues score, but there's a penalty on the play, so that makes it a 4-on-4. Four four. Um, so, yeah, 4-on-4 four four there for 22 seconds. Uh, the ref's told that he sucks again. And and in this case, I, I kind of get it. I, I do. I kind of understand why Blues fans were upset at this point. Uh, Avs cycle on the power play. Kadri tips one wide. Uh, Ranton and misses wide two. The power play's killed off, but right after it ends, Colorado scores to make it 3-1. to one. Or, or uh, no, uh, two to one. Kadri scores from Makar and Ranton in a thirteen thirty eight. So that wasn't popular that Kadri gets the goal there. Uh, it was a perfect tip in front. No chance for Huso on that one. Uh, we then get two minutes of four on four. Makar has a rush that sets up a press by the Avalanche, but O'Reilly would steal it there to relieve that pressure. Tarasenko then misses one in close. It looked skyward after that. The Avs press with four minutes left. Landeskog had a tip that was saved. The Blues then rush the puck the other way. Shen's denied, a rebound's fired high, and then the puck goes the other way and into the net. This is one of those plays. We see it often. Uh, Lekkonen scores from Kadri at 17-15. So right after Shen misses high, puck goes the other way and it's in the net. So Kadri with a goal and an assist there. Uh, so he scored it short side. This is one that you, you can look at and say, whoso should have had that post covered. But again, I, I thought it was a good goal there for Lekkonen, who clearly is enjoying his time in Colorado. Uh, Kairos then denied on a fast break. Tarasenko has a rush chance. That was saved. But then in the final minute of the period, the Blues, a little bit of pressure there, and they score. It's O'Reilly from Letty and Buchnevich at 1930. He buries a rebound there, and he makes the score 3-2. Saad then had a rush chance that nearly ties it before the period's out. But it's 3-2 to two after 2. Third period. Confers denied and close. Thomas, Thomas was then denied at the other end. Uh, Makar and Perron kind of unfriendly. Nothing comes out of that. Uh, Ranton had a rush chance that was saved. The Avs press. McKinnon has a shot kicked aside. The Blues do clear that out. Uh, Byram fires one wide on a rush. The shots are 5-2 to two for the Avs at 5.5 minutes. So with the lead, they're also going out there and they're, they're doing their best to keep the puck at the other end of the ice. So Makar has a shot that's blocked. Lekkonen had a blast that was held. Tarasenko then had a rush chance that was saved. Some good back and forth at around the halfway mark. Perron fires one high on a 3-on-1. Um, and then there was a net feed to Kadri that was blocked. The referees were really letting things go for both teams at this point in the game. There was only 10 penalty minutes in this game, not a lot being called. And so the fans weren't happy, but it was both teams that were kind of getting away with some stuff here. Um, the funny thing is I noticed Kad or not Kadri. I noticed Kairu was getting away with, uh, sticking and slashing guys a little bit on faceoffs. Eventually there would be the offsetting minors for four on four. Because one of those got, got called. And I said out loud, you know, I know what Kyra's, do, Kyra's doing, but he's got to watch that because eventually he's going to get called for that. So, uh, Barbashev had a net drive that was defended. Falk has a blast that's blocked and cleared out. Letty then had a net feed that was stolen by Makar. He rushes the other way. Rosen defends a Nachushkin fast break. Cogliano has a hit on Shen that was not very popular with the crowd. They wanted a call there. Uh, Kairou has a rush chance that deflects out with 2.47 left. So now the clock's really working against him. O'Reilly winning a lot of face-offs, but they win the face-off. Huso, he's going to the bench. The problem is Colorado gets the puck and they start coming up the ice. Huso's in no man's land. He's in no, he's, he's not close enough to the bench to get that sixth guy on. And he's not close enough to the net to come back and make a save. Easiest goal Landis Gog's ever going to score. Um, I think even easier than an empty netter because there weren't six players on the ice uh, who were skaters. It was a goalie halfway between the blue line and the goal. Uh, McKinnon and Rantanen with the assists at 17.52. So sadly, that reflects on the safe percentage for Huso tonight, and that that's too bad. Um, and, and yeah, so that two-on-one caught him. 
Uh, they pulled the goalie on the next faceoff win. There was some pressure by the Blues, but uh, Lekkonen gets the empty netter from Nachushkin, and that leaves the fans to boo as the clock winds down. That empty net goal scored at 19.02. The final score is 5-2. to two. It does kind of flatter Colorado. This game was, I thought, uh, very well played by St. Louis. Colorado taking advantage of the opportunities where they could to get those goals. Uh, it was a 3-2 to two game where, again, you had that one where Huso's caught halfway out of the net. And then the empty netter after that. So 5-2 is your final. But for Colorado, this is a big game. Colorado, we know they have trouble getting out of the second round. Now they're up two games to one. So if they can win in game four on Monday, who knows, right? All right, so your three stars in this one, Kemper, O'Reilly, and Pareko. The shots in this one, 13-10 St. Louis in the first, 10-9 St. Louis in the second. Both teams had eight shots in the third. Final shots, 31-27 to for St. Louis. Power plays, Colorado 0 for 1, St. Louis 0 for 2. The hits were 36 to 25 for St. Louis. Kemper saves 29 out of 31. Bennington saves all three shots that he faced. And then Huso 19 saves on 23 shots. And again, it should be 19 saves on 22 because that almost empty netter. Anyways, but there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, I send all of my best wishes to both Bennington and Gerard. Uh, with their injuries from tonight. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.